All right, we're ready to uh, execute our action items on our destination SQL Server 2012. Ch uh, right here are the action items. We made sure required SQL Server is installed. In my case, it's going to be right here. This is Dynamics AX Dev is my new server and SQL 2012 is my new SQL Server 2012 instance name. And I'll be using this as my destination server. So let's go back to checklist. And um, up here, we do have enough space. I have made sure that we have enough space to move our migration folder from source to destination so our uh, fifth action item is right here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, move our migration folder that I've created and ran all the checklist on uh, at source which was our SQL Server 20, 2008 R2 and we're gonna go ahead and move that folder to our destination and then we're gonna start executing these one by one keep in mind some of these items need to be in sequence such as that you need to restore the databases before you can go ahead and run the login script the reason is that uh, let's say that you have a login that has a default database in one of those databases that is you, that you haven't basically uh, restored yet is going to fail for us so um, let's go ahead and uh, keep in mind I'll keep reminding you that what needs to be in sequence and what doesn't need to be in sequence so I'm going to go ahead and um, move the folder from our source to destination this is my folder migration uh, and it resides on D migration 08 to 2012 so I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically um, go to um, my destination folder using UNC path and this is my shared folder so I'm going to go ahead and move this folder copy this folder and paste it in here it's going to take a little bit time so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video once this is um, the copying is completed then I'll come back to the video alright our uh, migration folder copied successfully let's go ahead let's go to our uh, destination server so the next target up here is go ahead and uh, restore all the databases and change the compatibility to reflect 2012 so let's go ahead and restore the databases and it is going to be from the device right here uh, these are all our databases coming from our source server so first we're going to go ahead and uh, restore Adventure Works 2008 R2. Up here is the files. You want to make sure that uh, these files really do exist on our destination server. Right here. You can change the path if you have a specific path to go to. So let's click on option. You do want to go ahead and click on overwrite if you would like to. Let's go ahead and click OK. It's 40% completed. As you can see, the database restore is completed so let's go ahead and get our other database restored Restore the second database, let's restore the remaining ones. Thank you. 
that is completed. Let's go ahead and complete the restore of our last database which is sales orders. Alright, all our databases are completed. Let's take a look that uh, if they're all online up here, all my databases are completed. Just so that you know that when you restore the databases from previous version to the next version, uh, the compatibility level of the database does not change. So in order to take advantage, if you don't change the compatibility level, then it does not take advantage of SQL Server 2012 features so in order for our database to take advantage of 2012 feature we need to change the compatibility to sql server 2012 so let's go ahead and check in order to check the compatibility you need to right click on the databases database click on properties go to option and right here as it still says compatibility level is 2008 we need to change it to 110 click ok and we need to repeat this action on all the databases that we restored All right, so our action item right here is just completed, number five, uh, number six, restore all databases and change compatibility.